All right, this story comes from NBCNews.com. Satanic panic is making a comeback, fueled by QAnon Crazy. believers and GOP influencers. Crazy, yo. And, dude, I grabbed this because QAnon was always the satanic panic. Yeah, it's always been that, yeah. It was never for one... Like, if you ever thought for one minute that there was a meaningful distinction other than, like, some minor rhetorical adjustments... No, you're right. You're, you're a right. crazy person. But, but... Come on, man. When we first heard QAnon, <laughs> I know. did we really we think, laughed, did we think, laughed. did we think that this was going to come into anything else? Did we think we we're like, no. like, did we think that there was going to be people at the Capitol with QAnon signs? Did we think they'd be like hundreds, Dude, no. if not thousands of people no. waiting for John, John and Dallas or whatever? <laughs> Do we think, did you think there was going to be a QAnon queen of Canada who was going to travel around in a fucking RV and just like draw crowds? We never thought. The more thought, you say crazy things, the more I just want to kill myself. Yeah, it's so, seriously yeah. though, it's fucking. No, this was like Liz Crokin and yeah, Ann Vandersteel crazy nuts. bullshit. This is crazy stuff. We were covering crazy people. We we're covering people who were seriously saying anything they could to get views, and we mocked them mercilessly for it. And what happened is, is QAnon went mainstream. And the thing is, is QAnon's mainstream enough where now even like Trump isn't fucking isn't denying QAnon stuff. Like he's like even oh, even know. and so we're in this position now where there's enough people and there's enough people who believe in QAnon on the Republican side to make it a viable way to gain office in our country. And yeah. of course you would tack the satanic panic onto this because look, you're, t you're fueling into one of the, one of the biggest, like, like I want to say like, it's one of the ways in which you can attach yourself to another form of crazy and religion in its own way is another form of crazy. It is. And, yep. and these people that are really hyper religious, they are absolutely terrified of Satan and all of Satan's minions and the battle between God and angels and Satan and all that. And if you start talking about that stuff, I mean, all this stuff is already blood God shit anyway, but it fits so well. It's fucking, it's fucking peanut butter and chocolate, man. It fits yeah, dude, really well this together. Is, this is it. Like to, to make the shift from QAnon to a satanic panic requires like such a dearth of imagination yeah, that it is almost a beggar's belief. Yeah, exactly. I mean, what, what was what was the satanic panic? The satanic panic was that there is a a cabal of ultra powerful Satanists yeah. committing heinous child rape and murder. Yeah. And what is QAnon? Well, there's a cabal. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. It's just it's just redone. Like, it's just, there's a mild. This is a rebranding, man. This yeah. isn't even like the difference between Coke and New Coke. Yeah. This is just like, hey, the can looks a little different. We fucking adjusted the C on Coke so it has like a fucking sans serif font or whatever. Sure, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, it's, it's the same fucking flavor. It's ex it's it's like it's like every movie is a fucking Jesus story or whatever. It's the same right. thing. It's like it's yeah. like it's stealing the same trope over and over and over again, and it's just reusing it. hundred percent. But, but man, these people are just. Uh, what's crazy about this is it's starting to sting some of the people who have. I, I think probably <laughs> either either time they've benefited off of it or they've. They've ignored it in the past so that they and and just sort of worked their way around it and been like, yeah, maybe my followers are a little crazy about QAnon. I don't think I don't believe that stuff. And then suddenly now they're having to defend themselves because just like we found out, you know, when the firefighter prophet is fighting against this other yep. guy, the, the, if, if everybody says they talk to the guy who is in charge, nobody, everybody and everybody's yep. lying. They can make up literally anything they want. Yes, that's exactly. It, the thing is that none of this narrative is tethered in anything approaching reality. Right. None of it. None of this has foundational like beliefs that are immutable in any way. None of this is tethered to any sort of demonstrable fact pattern. So if you get in the way of this or you sort of become a part of this like movement of train wreck insanity, it, there's no reason to think that at some point you won't be singled out and go down with the ship. Yeah. Look at how many people on the right have gone down with this fucking ship. Think about just just pause for a second and think about 
if you were in the orbit of the insanity of the right over the course of the last five years, how many of those fucking people's lives have been ruined? Yeah. So many of those people's lives yeah. have been ruined. So many of those people have been taken down and destroyed and they've lost their jobs and careers. Why would this be different? Yeah. The reason that that worked is because all of that was completely unhinged, batshit crazy, untethered from reality, dataless, evidenceless bullshit. So, like, all you have to do to make the next accusation stick is simply to make the accusation. Once the accusation is made, the problem with all this shit is that the accusation itself becomes de facto evidence of itself. It's a fucking aura yeah, boris of yeah. nonsense. Yeah, man. Yeah, that's the, that's the real reason. And that's and that's how they get to manipulate people, but it also bites you in the ass, right? Yeah. It's easy to manipulate people, but then anybody can use it against you. And so right. you're, you're essentially fucked. And and that's and and man, I I seriously think one of the ways to get out of this is just to have trolls infiltrate and start accusing all these big leaders of Just being all of being part of this QAnon thing from the beginning. So you start using Q as a way to say, no, Trump isn't the guy. He's the guy who's right. been, you know what I mean? Like, and so you you just use Q to attack them all, and then you just have them fighting each other constantly, just in a big fucking <laughs> like, like they look like that that fucking uh, the the Tasmanian devil's like <laughs> that guy that spins around. You just uh -huh, have them like yeah. that's what they look right. like. They just look like a fucking million assholes all fucking chasing each other and then you have them fight each other until they just go away it's like a bad guy fight you're like good all the bad guys fight and nobody cares that's yeah. i think like that's probably going to be the way that this gets taken down is that enough people just keep going after each other and this guy in this in this story is basically like i'm not a pedophile i'm not a satanist <laughs> it's crazy yeah, man. man i i read this story and it's like like, I don't care. Like, I like there's stories like these guys like getting like their lives get ruined, but their lives get ruined because they're fucking toxic adjacent. Yeah. You wrote and, this and fucking tiger right. already. Yeah, they, it's like it's like they fucking get on a surfboard and they fucking paddle out into a toxic fucking sludge. And then they're like, oh, hey, if I fall into the fucking sludge, I'm really screwed. And every once in a while they fall into the fucking sludge. And you're like. You're surfing on sludge, you stupid asshole. Man. You thought that you that you thought this wave was going to carry you, but this wave doesn't give a shit. The yeah. wave is simply the wave. The wave is fucking agnostic to all of you motherfuckers. It yeah. doesn't care who it chews up. No, man. And I love that it chews these guys up. I yeah, love man. it. It's fucking Mwah. It's yeah. chef's kiss delicious. Yeah, get it. And I and I hope more people get chewed up by it. I hope it just keeps yep. on chewing more people up. More of these people need to go. And there's plenty of these people who have who have weaponized QAnon time and time again. And I'd love to see it weaponized against them because it's very easy to harness. It's super yeah, easy to convince. These people are ultra convincible.